Hey guys, welcome back to Cryptech Mining. Today we're going to do some hash rate testing on this RTX 3080. As you guys can see here, we're getting about 20 watts being pulled straight through here, through this server power supply. So we need to factor that in whilst we're doing this. So let's jump into this right away and get started on the Ethereum. Okay guys, so I'll be doing some um, testing over here and as you can see, I've been able to get this card up to 101.8 mega hashes, the power of 230 watts. And obviously the memory temperature is sitting at about that 102 as well. Now, if we have a look at these overclocks here, we're getting 72% on the power limit, which is giving us our 230 watts. The core clock's at minus 200, and the memory clock is at plus 1400. Now, that also is giving us that 101 mega hashes. Now, a lot of cards won't be able to sustain this. Also, if you're on Linux, you need to double this number. Okay, guys, so... I'm happy with that. I probably won't be running this card at that full 101 mega hashes. I mean, we've got a good memory temp on there. Um, but we'll see here. Yeah, so we've got exactly 102 degrees and we're pulling about 230 watts. Now then, if we actually have a look here and go over to the wattage meter, you'll see that it's actually giving us a power draw of 272 from the wall. Okay, now we've got to factor in that 20 watts that we've seen from this power supply before we started all of our testing. Okay, so that's telling me that... This card is probably and possibly running at actually around 250 watts instead of the 230 watts. Now, that could be inaccurate, but I'm not too sure. I know Red Fox has some new gadget that he uh, he can check his power limits with, and maybe oh, I should look at getting one of those as well. Okay, guys, enough of this one. Let's move over to Ergo. Okay, guys, so same thing. As you can see, did some testing, being able to get this down to 200 watts, 215.9 mega hashes. Actually, I was able to get a little bit high in the mega hashes, but I had to put the power limit up. We got to get this at 62% now. The memory clock's at plus 1500. Now, keep in mind silicon lottery, and if you're using this card as a dedicated card on your personal computer. Now then, if, if we have a look here, we are sitting at about 198 watts at total power, and if we have a look at the GPU riser, we are pulling 20 watts from the GPU riser, and the rest is coming from the external power cables. Now, guys, I was able to get this up to 224 mega hashes before by putting this pretty much to the same overclocks as what I had on Ethereum. So, uh, not exact, but obviously the power limit was at 72%, which gave us that 230 watts. As you can see here, we're sitting the exact same wattage as what we were with Ethereum. And that also gives us that extra 7 mega hashes. Um, but obviously, we're also pulling that extra um, that extra power draw as well. So I find that having the 215 is probably the most stable one and probably the most profitable way to go. Now, 222.5 mega hashes at a 230 watt power draw. Okay, so guys, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. It works well. Um, and obviously, you know, we'll do some calculations on this soon and we'll see what kind of hashes we can get out of this. Okay, guys, now enough of this coin. Let's move over and do some Raven coin. Okay guys, so Ravencoin, here is the overclock. So we have 85% power limit, we have plus 300 on the core clock and plus 1400 on the memory clock. Now then guys, you can see here the GPU temperature is 71, we've got a memory of 98 degrees, uh, we're pulling about 272 watts and the GPU riser is supplying 30 watts of that, okay, so that's not too bad. Now then if we have a look here, we're getting between 47 to 48 mega hashes, we're getting 271 power limit. And obviously, it just took me about 11 minutes to figure out as well. So, you know, it, it doesn't take too long to get your overclocks, but at the same time, you need to play with them and find the right ones for you. Now, 271 power watt, uh, power limit there. Uh, obviously, it's not reflecting over here. It's giving me two things. Either the car is using more power than what it's saying, or this server power supply is now pulling more power. But I can't decipher that at the moment. So, let's move over to Fire and see what we can get out of that. Okay, guys. So, there's not much to the Fire network. Now, it's pretty much the exact same as Ravencoin. I have the exact same overclocks. Um, and we're, putting that, we're getting that 47 to 48 mega hashes here, as you can see. And this is the best that it's going to get. I tried to play with the overclocks a little bit, but I was losing hashes and, and I wasn't gaining any extra. Now then, the exact same, exact same. So as I've said, so pretty much if you're mining Ravencoin, you want to switch the fire row, all you got to do is switch it. You don't even need to change your tuning. Now, as you can see here, the GPU memory temperature is at 100 degrees, um, and the GPU riser is still pulling about that 30 watts. Okay, so that's pulling 30 watts and powering the card with that. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it for Fire guys. Now, let's head over and do some profits and break-evens on what to mine and see how long it'll take us to pay off this card. 
Okay, guys, so now let's have a look at this now. So we're obviously going to use the same hash rates as what we used and what we got from um, our hash rate testing here on this card. So obviously got the 101.8 mega hash with the 230 on the Ethereum algorithm. I'm just going to delete that there so we don't see it. Okay, guys, now obviously on the uh, Ergo algorithm, we got 214 hashes at a 200 watt power limit. Uh, we got 47 to 48 mega hashes, so we'll probably set this one here to 47.5 mega hashes, uh, and we'll put the power watt to 275, uh, even though we'll probably get about 271. Okay, now, Fire Row. Now, we got about 47.5 and 271 as well, because pretty much we're getting the exact same as what we're getting on the Kapow algorithm. Now, obviously, guys, this is going to be the same. Um, we're going to use the electricity cost of 10 cents a kilowatt. Now, that's US. I mean, obviously, you can change that for when you're doing your own checks. Now, as we can see, obviously, Ethereum is the most profitable. Fyro and Ravencoin seem to be the exact same profits, maybe one cent different. And then, obviously, Ergo is quite down there at the moment. So, I'll just open these up, and we'll see what kind of profits we're going to get from these here. Uh, obviously, our break even is going to be a little bit different for ergo but okay let's see here so we're saying one card here is going to get us about 146 dollars a month now obviously i'm not going to factor in electricity costs i just want to see exactly how long it'll take to pay off this card so i paid about 1300 us dollars for this card obviously it's about 1800 australian now if we're making that we're going to be, it's going to take just under nine months to pay us off. Now, we're going to keep in mind that the markets are down and the profitability is down at the moment. I mean, this is just the way things work. Now, if we go off this, we're obviously going to be have this done within about that ninth mark, nine month mark. Okay, so guys, now let's move over to Ergo. Now, as you can see, that's a drastic change. So, you know, it's like half of what we're getting. So, obviously, we're probably looking at quite some time. So, we have 1300 divided by 78.97 which gives us about 16 and a half months at the current uh, climate of mining to actually get this card paid off and break even with the money that we spent on buying this graphics card now obviously that's only going to give us about 20 coins a month per card as well so i mean obviously the more you have the more you you know you can you can build up on that and obviously you got to keep in mind that the price will fluctuate on each of these coins as well they could go up you could break even sooner um it's just you just don't know you just don't know okay so now raven coins as we can see here so raven coins sitting about that 105 mark without electricity so it's a debit we just say 1300 divided by 105 and two cents we've got about that 12.3 month mark so obviously just over 12 months to break even by just mining raven coin obviously you're going to be getting about a thousand coins per card as well but keep in mind the halving is about to happen, and the block reward is going to change. So this could all change drastically as well. So I highly recommend that you come back and have a look at this um, when it obviously uh, the halving happens as well, because this could change everything for your break even. Okay, guys. Now, Fire I'm I'm assuming that Fire is going to be. It's pretty much the exact same. So it's probably going to be about that 12 month mark as well. Obviously, you know, it's probably a cent difference. So what was it? I think it was 12.3 months for um, for Ravencoin. So it's probably going to be about the exact same. Yeah, so yeah, 12.3 months to get this one paid off through Fyro as well. Obviously, keeping in mind, as I did say, you do have to keep in mind that Fyro has a big potential behind it, actually, because, I mean, it has the same circulating supply as Bitcoin. And if it was to get adopted well, it could skyrocket in price. You could have these cards paid off probably sooner rather than later as well. Okay, guys, so that's everything. If you think I've missed anything or have any other overclocks you want to add, put them in the comments below. Please remember to hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, and join my new Discord as well. Okay, guys, peace out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.